Good morning, music fans. Matt Jensen here. This morning, I thought I would do a little video on my Paul McCartney collection. And the reason for this is because it's been recently announced that Paul will be releasing his deluxe editions of and remastered editions of his final two Wings albums, which are um, London Town and Back to the Egg. But I thought I'd show off my uh, archive collection here a little bit. Um, basically, these started in 2010 with the anniversary edition of Band on the Run, and it was released as a uh, CD um, and this deluxe edition, which is like a book that has CDs and stuff. And I was actually late to the party on that. Now, I didn't actually buy that initially because I already had this 25th anniversary um, edition that had a couple CDs and a nice booklet. So I resisted. And uh, it, also, it also was released around the same time as... Um, the deluxe editions of Ram and McCartney, which I already own. So I didn't get these. Now, these are most of these are like out of print. So I've had to go on eBay and Discogs and stuff and find some of them. But here's what I've got. I've got the uh, deluxe edition of McCartney, 1970. The deluxe edition of Ram. This is a nice big box here that opens up and there's tons of stuff in here and it's quite extraordinary. This is my favorite Paul album. Then we've got the deluxe version of Wildlife, Red Rose Speedway. This thing is a monster as well. Band on the Run, Venus and Mars. This one's quite hard to find. And then this behemoth. I mean, this thing is ugh, a monster. This is a uh, Wings Over America box set. Wings at the Speed of Sound. More of that book style. And then McCartney 2. And this one I think is like maybe the rarest of the ones that I have. Very similar to the band on the run and the McCartney. And these are at the back. After this big book, they've got CDs and DVDs and stuff like that. So Good luck trying to find these out in the in the wild. I didn't pull the trigger on a lot of them right away, but was got them for not as bad deals. So then they released, you know, this is what I was buying when they would come out in these new archive remasters. So here's McCartney 2, Wings at the Speed of Sound, Wings Over America, Venus and Mars, Wildlife. So that pairs with that one, that pairs with that one. And, you know, that was a much cheaper way to go about it. I think they were like, you know, $15, $20 a piece. And these actually weren't crazy expensive at first, but, and I see like some of these going for three, four, five hundred dollars $500 a piece now. Wings at the speed of sound. <sighs> Red Rose Speedway. Like I said, I didn't buy the band on the run because I had this, which I think is a, was a little better. Um, never bought the Ram small one because I got the big box set. Never got the McCartney small one because I have the, the box set. Now this is kind of a curio. This is Thrillington. This is not even listed as a Paul McCartney album, but it's basically orchestrations uh, of the entire Ram album. Too many people, legs, Ram on, dear boy, etc. So that goes there. Now these are some that, that have released box sets. These are some of his 80s albums and 90s albums. But I just don't. I mean, you can actually still get, I think, it, maybe, actually, maybe all four. So they're still in print, but these are not Paul McCartney albums I want. I'm not going to spend $150, $200 on a box set for albums I don't even listen to. And these are just some of the other miscellaneous albums that Paul's released. McCartney 3, Egypt Station. This is like the one with the extra disc in it. New. Memory almost full. This is a this is a quality album. His uh like American songbook, Kisses on the Bottom, not one of my favorites. 
Chaos and Creation in the Backyard. This is the special edition with the slip cover. Great album. Run Devil Run, more of a covers album. Not one of my favorites. Driving Rain, early 2000s, kind of a weak album. And then Off the Ground, this album came right after uh, Flowers in the... So this is in between Flowers in the Dirt and Flaming Pie. And they haven't done re mixed editions. All right, so I, I actually did have a bunch of... Uh, McCartney vinyl too and I've gotten rid of some of them because they just were in bad shape but I bought some of the new ones that have been remastered this is uh this is the McCartney uh vinyl remastered the nice gate pulled and then this is one of the best sounding McCartney albums I have this is the half speed remastered edition of Ram so I traded in my other version of RAM for this one, and this sounds, I mean, this is audiophile quality, spectacular. And then we've got re, remixed edition, remastered edition of Band on the Run, 180 gram. And then here's some that I just have in excellent condition. So I've got Venus and Mars, Wings at the Speed of Sound. Wings over America. And the, here's the one that I <laughs> probably most people think this is his weakest album. This is Give My Regards to Broad Street, which is a soundtrack to his movie, but this was a promo radio copy and it's in mint condition. So I had to have that to the collection. So the only McCartney albums I'm missing are uh, Back to the Egg in London Town, just because I'm waiting to get those on these you know super deluxe editions. Um, which is supposed to come out this year. And I'm missing um, uh, Press to Play, which also, in addition to this, Give My Regards to Broad Street, is probably his least favorite. But I've also heard rumors that they might do a, a, a set like this at some point. So it'd be curious to listen to. I'll probably elect to go with one like this. And you can buy, you know, the CD Press to Play. Not that expensive, but it's just, I've heard it, and it's not very good. So... This is my Paul McCartney and Wings Super Deluxe Edition box sets. Like I said, I've got, these are the nine that I wanted. I have no desire to get these four, even though I'm a completist, but I am looking forward to getting London Town and Back to the Egg when those come out. And, and then some miscellaneous, my, fa my favorite um, McCartney albums on vinyl. Pretty much got them all here. I do not have, it looks like, of the box sets. I don't have McCartney 2 or uh, Red Rose Speedway on vinyl, but don't really want them, don't really need them. All right. Well, thank you for watching, and have a great day. Bye.